time. Okay, Amy, I forgot to tell you a little bit the other day about putting the seed under the uh, moist conditions, uh, cool moist conditions for 60 to 90 days. Forgot to point out that these red berries are not the seed. Those are fruit. And a lot of times fruit will have inhibitory compounds to keep it from keep the seed from germinating in the fruit. So what you gotta do is extract the seed from the fruit. The easiest way to do that is go in here and just crush these things. So what I'm doing is I'm just sitting here and just crush, crush, crush. So yes. Make a mess. So just keep crushing them. Now then, you've got this mess of fruit pulp and seed and a few stems in there, okay? So, get it all crushed up as well as I can. Now to separate the mess, I'm going to take a pan over here. I'm going to scrape this off, put that in the pan. There it is. Now I'm going to set it in the sink. I'm just going to turn the water on, get the hands off so I'm doing it, and fruit pulp is going to be lighter than the seed. I'm going to go ahead and crush some more of it up as we're doing this. There's a little bit get crushed. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be a fast, easy way to do most of it. And there's, I thought that was a seed that was floating. If you have seed floating, then that seed's probably not in good anyway. Okay, there's one floating that didn't get crushed up. Okay, so now then, now notice there's a lot of fruit debris on the bottom. So what we'll do is just let the water run for a while. And it will keep stirring that around. And it'll take a while, but just let it run for a while and we'll clean that up. So we're going to do a time lapse while it runs for a while, which means we're going to turn the video off right now. Okay. Oh, it's starting a new video, isn't it? It's not picking up where the. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, so. There's still some on the bottom, so what we do is kind of pour this off a little bit. Let's get some more water through there and try to get up. Okay, and then we've got the pulp up there. Here's the pulp up. I thought there was seed coming over, it was just pulp. Let's do this several times. Okay, there we go. Now then, there was one that didn't get crushed, which is why it wouldn't separate. There's a stem. Okay, so now we've got some pretty clean seed right down there in the bottom of the pan. So we we'll just come over here and I'm going to just mark a uh, plastic bag as Nandina. Domestica seed stratification started January 12, 2020. Yeah, maybe. Got in a wet spot there and didn't want to ride. Okay, so now then, just put the seed in here along with that water get the last of the seed put them in there and a set of wood okay now then can put some potting soil in there with it zip it up get good and moist if it's too wet add more potting soil if it's too dry I can add more water. 
of what we want. Want the seed scattered around in there. We want it moist, but not standing in water. So there's Damn. a little standing water there, right there. So you know. Let that kind of soak up the water. Might need to add a little more potting soil to it. We'll see. Now, next thing we do, we're going to take it over to the refrigerator. We're going to pop that in the refrigerator and let it sit there for about 60 to 90 days. Then we take it out, plant it, and they should germinate. That's it.